Hello and welcome to Year Tier the German Engineer. Today we're back with episode 19 of our newest Let's Play series and this is of course Oxygen Not Included. Yes, last time around up here on the top we tamed this volcano tamer right here which will probably erupt at some point during this episode so we will definitely wait for that. But today the main focus is our industrial brick. We need to industrialize it even more and to get the stuff that we need to go to space. So let's just jump right into it and see how that works out for us. And here we are. So let's turn the overlay back on and let's take a look. First of all, something that I should have repaired a long, long time ago, but somehow didn't because I kind of forgot about it. Yes, I built over here on the top all these bridges here through the wall, which is leaking out a lot of heat, costing us a lot of energy produced by our steam turbines. Yeah, it's just not efficient and not good. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get back in here. So that is what we are going to do. And how we're gonna do this is going to be pretty simple. So, first of all, we need, of course, a liquid lock. And the liquid lock is just going to look something kind of like this here. It's literally this simple, just like this here. So we can break in here without any issues. As soon as this here is built, we can just leave all the stuff right here for right now. Because we're gonna get rid of it later anyways again. Once we go in here for once, we will never go back in here again, I hope. And if we do, we can not just rebuild it. So it's really not that big a deal. All right dupes let's get this here built we do need a bit of number nine priority though so it actually gets done and as soon as it is done we need in plumbing of course also a bottle emptier and the bottle emptier goes right there and we're just gonna put a tiny little bit of crude oil in here doesn't have to be much just so we can get in tear out those bridges and then close it back up and right here the dupes already built a liquid lock that's very good and they should already bring oil as well because i set it up to crude oil number nine priority and of course enable auto bottle is turned on but while this here is happening, let's pause it one more time and then down here in the bottom. I think there is a bunch of stuff we can do actually in both of those here. So let's take a look. First of all, down here on the bottom, I want to build a tiny little basin. Something just like this here should certainly get the job done. Then we need to go to refinement. And in refinement, we are going to grab us a glass forge. There it is. Glass forge, we're just going to plop it in like this. Then heavy wood wire. We're just going to hook it up directly to the power grid. That is not a problem at all. Then in F6. Next of all, we need to take care to get actually cooling done, but at the same time also get some of our glass out of here. Not some of it, all of it as a matter of fact. In plumbing, insulated pipe, we're going to come over here and then we're just going to come all the way through there and all the way down here. Yep, that should get the job done for sure. Then we need to rebuild this here a tiny, tiny little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to snip it off right here. And then we're going to let it run just for a tiny little bit to drain it out a little. Yeah, there we go. That looks a hell of a lot better. And now we can take this radiant liquid pipe right here made out of aluminum. That is something that I want to keep. Yep. And then we're just going to build upwards. Going to build upwards as high as we can, which would be right around here. And then we're just going to snake it through here to actually keep it nice and cool. That should certainly get the job done. Plop in a little bit of a bridge right here and then deconstruct all these here. And right here, we can just come through and probably will this one here be reconstructed? Yes, it will be. And all of that should be done. In plumbing, bottle emptier right here. And then, of course, the bottle emptier itself, as soon as it's built, we're just going to put some water in here or maybe even salt water. It probably doesn't matter. Properties, evaporation point, 99.7 degrees. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. We can use salt water or water. It literally makes no difference whatsoever to actually cool down our glass. But this here is how simple our setup for our glass forge is going to be. And just as easy as that, our glass forge setup has been built and should be ready to use. Is this here built? Yes, everything is done. This here looks a little bit weird because we have deconstructed it, but we will not worry about that. Actually, we no, we are not going to worry about it at all because these here will all be radiant liquid pipes anyway in a second. And you will see why. So let's actually take a look over here in this area. I think what we are going to do is we are going to put in a couple of our wonderful, let's take a look here in refinement as well. Oil refineries. Yep, that is what we want. So let's plop in a couple of tiles so we can actually build another liquid lock. Here one, here one, there one. We already have this one, obviously. And right there, literally this simple, this one here then will need to be deconstructed so we can actually get water in, but that should get the job done. And then on this side over here, I'm going to take a heavy watt joint plate, plop it in there, and then here, this here comes through. 
then more insulated tiles through the top so we can actually get some power in here that is the idea of course that is not all we will need to build some cooling solution as well later on and also to cool down our salt water but before we use our glass forge that's not a priority so we are going to plop this stuff in here first so in refinement we're gonna grab us two of our refineries just like this and then in base we will need two liquid reservoirs one right here and one is going to live right there but we're gonna wait with building this here for a tiny little bit because as soon as all this is blocked off and we have water in here we need to create the vacuum you can see all this carbon dioxide in here yeah that is no good obviously so we need to do something about it and as a matter of fact now thinking about it we could put some lights in here to speed up the process yeah why wouldn't we so let's cancel this here out let's bring this one here over one to leave space for a light and then we are going to plop in our liquid reservoir there we go that certainly gets the job done if nothing else so let's get all this here built uh, you know what actually let's put in the gas pump right away we're just gonna make it out of steel is that necessary yeah it doesn't matter because we have more than enough of that stuff so we're gonna plop it up here and then of course with a high pressure gas vent and then we're also gonna hook it up to power with the heavy watt wire there we go literally this simple also with this one here we can come down and all the way through while we are at it that does make no difference at all so but now let's get all this here built and then we will take a look once all this here is done meanwhile over here on abundino yes we are still looking great with our steam vent right here it is about to erupt again and produce wonderful power yeah, I don't think that our coal generators haven't done a hell of a lot in the last few cycles, but that is the general idea anyway. And our dupes are bored to hell and back, so we might as well dig into this general direction and do a tiny little bit of exploration to see what is going on with this neural accelerator and what is going on in this dark space. Maybe we find something else. And what do my eyes spot here? Did I see this before? I don't think I did. This is a cobalt volcano. Okay, all right. I can work with that. We will definitely tame that sucker as well. I was utterly unaware that it's here. I may have looked at it before at some point in the series and just forgot about it. I really don't know. You guys probably remember a hell of a lot better than I do, but that is perfectly fine. First of all, we are just going to come straight down here. All the way. There we go. And then we will also dig this thing here up while we are at it to see what is actually going on with it. Maybe we are lucky again and it is dormant. Who knows? But we will see. We're going to leave this one spot here. Two over from the left and then two up from our neutronium. That spot here will keep it nice and contained no matter what is going on with it. So let's do that and then we will see what we got here. And meanwhile, on Ingenium, we are looking very good. We already have an official liquid lock right here. It is not yet done. I want to put a little bit more in here because this one here is going to be permanent. And you know what? Just to make it look a tiny little bit better, I'm going to put those two tiles in as well. Is that necessary? No, but I just can't help it. It's my OCD. It just happens. But we are pumping out the carbon dioxide and this here should be a vacuum very, very soon. So what we can do in the meantime is we can take care of our cooling solution. So let's do precisely that. We need to keep in mind that our water comes from the left on the top then comes down and then comes back over so how are we going to build this here in plumbing radiant liquid pipes is going to be all over the freaking place that is just how it's going to be the outputs from our two oil refineries are going to be right here then we're going to come over up to the top and then right here we're just going to feed it into those inputs that are going to be right there as soon as this pump here is gone we're going to make it radiant to get a little bit of heat out of it is that really necessary no but we have so much cooling power here that we can afford it so we will it's this simple so what is next on the list probably those two inputs right here those are going to be insulated and yes as i remember correctly we still have this right here so that is going to be also interesting probably the simplest solution would be to do something like well actually let's rebuild this here first because all these here are going to go yeah let's do that first that is probably a hell of a lot easier we need to keep in mind that we need to come over here so we will build a bridge right here this way around and a bridge right there this way around so that is going to take care of what we are going to do later and then right around here probably right around there as a matter of fact or maybe even one over does it matter probably not too much no it does matter because we need another bridge so we're going to build it right here one bridge and then another bridge right here and then another bridge right there just like this here and then we're going to come up here just like that over to here and then 
probably we could just snake it a little bit here we could just do something like this here to get the maximum amount of cooling power out of it yeah that's what we're gonna do that should be perfectly fine without any issues whatsoever so let's build all of this here as soon as this here is built then we can rip this bottom here out and we can make sure that we rip out those two tiles and we are able to come over here nicely with our crude oil that is probably the easiest thing to do and then we will go from there or as a matter of fact right here we also need to come up here and come up there and then build radiant through the entire middle here these ones here shouldn't be radiant and i don't think they are and as soon as this here is done we are also cooling down the water the salt water that's in here so let's do that and then we will see and now all this here is ready to roll we have a vacuum in here and i already tore this little pump here back out so it's literally this simple yeah i love it when it is simple that always is good for us but what i also noticed our stress is extremely high so what we need to do is need to go not into skills but into research what else can we research while we are at it apparently we have another graphics pack oh it fixed itself wonderful but what else do we have here that we need for space travel and if we have nothing for space travel maybe something for our dupes right here the party line phone that is good because we will also need the enclosed telescope so we will get going on that one right away and then what we will also do here very shortly is we need to build some sort of a relaxation room probably not only here on ingenium but also on abundino so our dupes are a little bit more happy but for right now all we need is a liquid reservoir that we're gonna plop right there because all this here is built the water is flowing exactly as it should flow and also you can see down here in the top or better to say up here on the top i also made all these here radiant liquid pipes so all around here we are providing proper cooling to this area there is absolutely no issue and our water currently is at 80 degrees and what is this thing here set up to 215 degrees yeah that's perfectly fine we will never have a problem with that but we need to take care of the output as well right at this moment i don't have any output for it i do not know where to put all this stuff but that is no problem all we have to do is something like this here and come out with it so these two here stop complaining and whenever we find a place where to put all this petroleum we will definitely put it there i just want to get it ready so we don't forget about it later and while we are at it of course the inputs right here are also still missing so let's grab us here the insulated pipe and let's come straight over all the way through here through there right here we're gonna stop because we're gonna build a bridge and then we're gonna come down to the bottom and just in like this and where's my bridge there it is we're just gonna turn it around the right way and as soon as all this here is built this build here will be done or will it actually it won't be huh, my goodness i forgot one thing we don't need a vacuum pump but a mini gas pump we can fit it up here in the corner so why just a mini gas pump you're asking well probably when we go to furniture the ceiling lights as i said i want a light here and i want a light there just like that simple but also up here in the top i want the lights as well so the problem is right at the moment it's too hot for our lights uh, so we probably should get into here first but the good thing is that this here is done so well, how about we do that right away we can come here deconstruct this tile and deconstruct that tile and then our dupes will be able to enter but of course they need something to do when they enter Currently, this line here runs straight through. And there is no reason for it to actually do that, is there? I don't think so. So what we are going to do is, instead of coming all the way through, we are going to come over here. And right here, we're just going to come with the insulated pipe all the way down to the ground. And as soon as we reach the ground, we're going to switch over to radiant liquid pipes. And we're going to come all the way along the floor here. This is how we're going to provide even more cooling, which is actually even better than what we had here a second ago. So let's do precisely that. We're going to put in a bridge here, 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 and here. And as soon as this here is built, we're just going to tear out the top part, then get rid of all of those bridges right here and make it straight pipes. And that should make it a hell of a lot better and now basically all this here is done in f6 we can see the water is flowing down because i snipped it off right here all we have to do is let's take a look here real quick we're gonna snip this here off so the rest can drain out as well and now that it's drained out let's close it back up like this and then deconstruct all this stuff here we don't need any of it anymore including this liquid bridge right here all of it can go i don't even know why did we have this liquid bridge here oh yeah that's right to get crude oil in here but that is okay we can get rid of it and as soon as all this here is gone and let the dupes clean this here up and then also put in straight pipes that is the number one priority right now 
and now this entire area here is completed when we take a look in our f6 overlay we can see the water is now coming down out of the bottom wonderfully without any issues whatsoever and right here we now have straight pipes in here that are of course insulated except all the way on the top and the dupes are of course cleaning all the stuff you're up if you're already in here might as well get rid of this eyesore so we definitely will do precisely that and then we are just gonna close it back up right here and down here on the bottom yes we are looking good we are already producing crude oil or better to say we are taking crude oil and producing petroleum with it which is of course also precisely what we want there are no issues whatsoever right now there we go so what else do we need here though let's take a peek in our f2 overlay we need to power all the stuff right here and the decor is already so bad that it does not matter we're just gonna use the big old boys here that is perfectly fine without an issue in automation though we need to come in here and grab us down here on the bottom somewhere the atmos sensor right here and connect it with an automation wire to right there so that is also taken care of currently we don't have an output because we still have to put somewhere where we can put all of this natural gas right here because in theory we could just pump it all the way up here to our storage but that seems slightly counterproductive especially since we just have a tiny tiny little pump right here so what we're going to do is down here on the bottom in a little bit we are going to put in natural gas generators yes that is the plan and right here all this stuff here is now empty all that is left is our wonderful wonderful steam so let's close it back up first of all we need to build these two tiles right here as soon as these two are built we can go to the next step so let's see how it works out for us and satsay and krivak are here building the first two and the next one that we need to build is this one right here so that one is definitely next on the agenda shouldn't take very long and as soon as this one here is built we can put this one in and then these two here we can deconstruct and they should be gone like nothing has ever happened that is always the general idea that's how we close up those systems every single time again not entirely sure how often i've shown that how to actually do that but right now is as good a moment as any i figured so now that this one is built we can build this one here you can see there's no error we can reach it from standing right here through this little corner right here yes that works and that is no problem at all this one here can already be set on deconstruct and as soon as this one is built the bottom one can as well and we are done and there it is krivak put it in krivak is putting the last two out here we can clean this here up and nothing has ever happened as far as we know <laughs> isn't that wonderful so we can get back into any system that we ever want but now next on the list we need to take a look we have those two spots right here i want to get rid of this large power transformer here first before we do anything else because we definitely do not need it here's champster already on the job as always now we can go into power and we can find us the natural gas generator and what we're going to do is we're going to plop in here literally as many as we can fit which is apparently five then this piece right here the rock crusher don't need that anymore either we're gonna bring it how about you don't bug out on me that would be nice right there that is where this one's gonna live in our industrial area on up top here on the bottom we are going to produce power so let's deconstruct it number nine priority let's get rid of this one here as well really really quickly please dupes let's get it done and luma is here deconstructing it so we can now put in more of these here and i would say five more should get the job done at the end a smart battery as usual then we're gonna grab us a heavy butt wire just come all the way straight through and once again all the way straight through just like this this here will provide power but when we remember natural gas generators produce two things carbon dioxide and polluted water the polluted water just falls out so there's no piping so what we need is mesh tiles and thankfully down here on the bottom we have our hydroponic farms with thimble reeds in it which means we can literally just let it drop down all the way to the ground and that is exactly what we're gonna do here 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 and here and we're gonna do this for each and every one of the five just from the top down every time just right there this is the proper spot where it has to be so it actually falls through and if we build it like this here we will never have a problem with the polluted water because all that is going to happen is it's going to fall all the way through it's accumulating up here and eventually it's going to fall down the right side to our pump which immediately pumps it back up and it gets used up by our thermal reeds just like that it's literally this simple so let's get started on building this here and what we will also need though there's one more thing that i forgot two more things actually of course an automation wire through here and an automation wire through there something just like this here and then last but not least in ventilation we need to grab us make it an insulated pipe does it matter no it doesn't matter we're just gonna come up and all the way along probably to somewhere around here maybe yeah that should do 
up here, 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 and then here we're going to come up as well. And then we're just going to duplicate this entire system right here. Just as simple as that all the way through something like this here. And on the bottom, we actually came out to like, how did we do it? There we go. Like this here. So let's cancel this and that. So let's make it all look nice and uniform. And then in ventilation, just a high pressure gas vent right there. We already have so much carbon dioxide in here. It literally doesn't matter. We're going to vent this carbon dioxide out here as well. And this is then where our natural gas is going to go straight into here. And of course, we will supply it also from our infinite storage up here on the top. So let's get all this here built and then we will take a look what we can do next. Right here, the dudes are still happily building. How far is our copper volcano from erupting? 2.2 cycles. OK, we're getting there. But somewhere in this base. How about somewhere down here in the bottom? Potentially, we could put in some sort of a recreational room. So let's put in a floor all the way through and then let's put in a roof all the way through. Let's get rid of the ladders. And you know what? Screw it. Let's get rid of these here too. It's perfectly fine. And then we're going to grab us nomadic doors here and here and here and here and here and there. There we go. Six of them. That should get the job done. And then let's take a look in furniture. What do we have here? Of course. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at the room overlay requirements. Recreation room, it requires no industrial machinery and a decor item and a recreational building. That's it. OK, well, that is not a hell of a lot. We can certainly work with that. So when you walk in, the first thing you will get is a metal block. And what is the best metal that we can use here? Does it matter? Gold would be nice. Yeah, let's plop a gold one on each side, just like that. Then let's take another look here. Party line phone. How about we plop in a couple of those? Maybe three of them should be more than sufficient. And then let's plop in a jukebox in the middle. And do we have anything else already available? Not really. The soda fountain. I definitely want to use the soda fountain later, but currently we do not have the carbon dioxide for it. We could probably bottle it over here, but well, nothing really stops us from doing that, does it? We could certainly do that. Yeah, let's do precisely that. Let's plop in three of those here. That should get the job done. These here, of course, need in plumbing a little bit of water. So let's take a look at what do we have here. We could just use what is this line right here? Oh, this is the one that's going all the way to the bottom. Yep, we will probably need that later. Yeah, that is OK. We are going to come out of this one right here. Going to come into here and then right there. We're just going to come along here and plop it into like this here and everything that we don't need. We're going to snip that off and we're going to deconstruct this one piece right here. So it all looks rather nice. And then this one here is set up to full force. That is fine. Doesn't really matter too much because this one here doesn't need a hell of a lot of water. But what it does need, it needs a manual input of carbon dioxide. And if there's one thing that we have over here, well, it's certainly carbon dioxide, isn't it? So let's take a look into ventilation. In ventilation, we have the canister filler. And the canister filler does exactly what we need it to do in this particular case. So theoretically, we should be able to just plop it down here on the floor somewhere, shouldn't it? Yeah, our water is going to come down and it should only land in here. So let's put it right there and then let's actually dig up a one more tile right here just to make it a little bit easier. And then in ventilation, once again, we're going to use a filter gas pump just to be on the safe side. We want nothing but carbon dioxide. Plop it right above it. Then with a gas pipe, come all the way down into there. And then last but not least, of course, we need a tiny little bit of power. But I believe we have power nearby here, don't we? Yes, we do right here. How much is on that wire currently? 490 watts. Oh, that's nothing at all. So we can't just use a normal wire as a matter of fact and bring it up to here. There we go. Just like that. No problem at all. And it basically costs us nothing to do this. That is very, very good. All right. Looking better every single second. And right here, our copper volcano has 10 seconds left to come out of dormancy and actually erupt for the first time. Yes, there it is. There it goes. So let's see what that actually looks like. Our steam turbines are immediately turning back on, getting the wonderful, extremely hot steam out and converting it into power. How hot are we in here? 230 degrees? That is a little bit high, but that is fine. Maybe a third one could have helped out a little bit to actually get a little bit more of this heat out of here. But overall, it looks like it's working. Night is also falling right now. And right here, our, our thermos sensor shows we are at 220 degrees. Yeah, that is very, very good. And as soon as all this here is properly cooled down, it will go down to this chamber right here, get cooled down and end up in our storage where it belongs. 
And now the game is saving. God, how I hate it when it does that. But it is absolutely necessary to save every single round because the game crashes so often that, other than that, it will not work out. But let's say, can we actually take a look here? How much hotter is it? It is still at 160, 170 degrees. So one more round and it should be cool enough, hopefully, to actually get down here to the bottom. Yeah, here we have the first piece coming through and every other piece is now getting in here. There we go. And it only needs one single go around to actually come out. And what is the temperature? Let's take a look here. Negative 14.1 degrees. Yeah, we may have overdone it a little bit with the cooling, but better too much than not enough. That is good. Copper Volcano is working and we have another check mark on our list. Meanwhile, down here on the bottom, you can see the natural gas generators are all built, all 10 of them. Yeah, that is a, a lot of them, but that is perfectly fine. No problem at all. And it says here, no gas intake, combustible gas. So let's take a look all the way up here on the top. We need to come down in our F2 overlay. What is going on here with our power? Yeah, we probably have to do something about that, do we? No, actually, we don't. Actually, we are perfectly fine. There are only 275 watts on here. My goodness. So all we have to do is hook up our pumps right there. And that should be that. Literally this simple. But you know what? Let's make it the real power wires while we're at it, huh? That's probably nicer. There we go in F2. Let's grab it again. Conductive wire made out of lead. That's perfectly fine. And let's hook them up. But what we're actually here for is F7. Right here, we need to get rid of the insulated gas pipe and behind it, the gas vent as well. Don't need it anymore. That is for sure. Then with the insulated pipe, how are we going to do this? Oh, look at this here. This entire thing here is full to the brim. My God, that is also a problem. So we need to find a way to actually get rid of all this gas right here. We're going to do this here in one second, but let's first build our natural gas line all the way through here. How are we going to do this? We probably should build it a tiny little bit, at least in reverse all the way through here and all the way through there. We're going to come all the way up one more and then we're going to come all the way over to the right here. We will need a bridge and then here we can go along or you know what? Actually, we can go all the way over in here. We're going to come along. Yeah, that's probably smarter. There we go. And also right here, we're just going to hook them together. Then with this thing right here, all we have to do is come out and come into there. Just as simple as that. And then right here, we could come through here. And that's what we're probably going to do. Yeah, there's nothing that's going to stop us. We're going to come all the way through here, all the way through there and into there. And then last but not least, the bridges that we need. This one has to go this way around. Up here on the top, we don't need one. And then down here on the bottom, this one here has to go this way around. Yeah, that should get the job done wonderfully. And we're going to do two things. First of all, we're going to empty this one here out because we have 3,200 grams in it. And I say we're going to leave, yeah, 1,000 grams in there. So we're going to say send a green signal if above 1,000 grams, which it is doing right now. The only thing is we don't have a gas output. So as soon as all of these pipes here are built, we will actually pump it out. And then we will see. I'm going to take this here, high threshold 85, low threshold 20. And I'm just going to copy the settings to every single one of them that we have here. And then we will see if they all turn on at the same time. I don't think they will, because for some reason this is not working. No matter what I try, look at this here. The hydrogen generators are doing something right now, and our coal generators are turned off, even though all the settings are the same. They have been the same before, but it makes no difference. So we probably have to do something different, but we will see what happens once it all is built. Right here, everything is built. We can see our insulated gas pipe is done and we are bringing in a ton of natural gas from both of our sources at once. That is precisely what that should look like and that is what we wanted and it is certainly what we got. There is only one problem with the system right here. Let me speed it up real quick and you will see. When we drain out all of our batteries, yeah, as you remember, they're all set up literally and exactly the same, but it, only the natural gas generators turn on and nothing else. And that is not what I want. So let's fix it once and for all. I'm sick and tired of looking at this here. I do not only want to use one resource. I want to use them all a tiny little bit so we never run out of any. That is the plan. So let's get behind the plan. Game, we're just going to build a wire all the way through. Just something like this here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to snip off all this here, this one, this one, and this one. And as soon as this one wire here is built, this one singular battery here up top will control every single one of them. And all the other four batteries here, they are just here to store energy. That is how we are going to do this. 
and then all of them should turn on at the same time. So let's get this here built and then we will see if my theory is right. And now every single one of our wires is built. Let's see. The battery should... Yes, there we go. And look at this here. Every single one turns on. But of course, we're producing now so much energy that every one of them is just on for a few seconds. Let's take a look here. We're producing 600 watts with each of those 10 coal generators. We are producing 800 watts with each of those 10 gas generators. And we are producing another 800 watts with each one of our five hydrogen generators. That is a hell of a lot of power, which is why it only takes a second to fill up our actual smart battery here. 20 kilojoules is not a hell of a lot, and we are only filling it to 85%. So yeah, this here now works perfectly, and we can see that our power brick, and or our, better to say our industrial area, well, it's literally both. The power brick is on the bottom, and the industrial area is here on the top, is now relatively full. You can also see I put in the ceiling lights, so that is looking very, very good, and of course makes it most efficient for our dupes to work over here and at the same time the cooling looks really good especially right here you remember what this year looked like earlier yeah now that all those bridges are gone it definitely makes a hell of a bigger difference so i would say we are looking extremely good but this is all i have for you today so if you enjoy the content please subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video and comment down below you know it i'm always happy to hear from you and all of the above would help me out greatly and with that i say thank you and peace.